How do everybody? Al here from Farside Movie Reviews, and I had to come on and talk about Morgan because if I hear one more negative comparison between Morgan and Ex Machina and how Morgan, it was okay, but it wasn't as good as Ex Machina, I'm going to lose it. All right, so the first thing, you know, I, I need to say, I feel like I need to say is this is no disrespect to my fellow YouTubers and my fellow critics because there's a lot of you guys that I respect that have said that Morgan is not as good as Ex Machina. So I respect that. I think you're wrong, but I respect that. So, let me also say that this probably will be a bit of a spoiler, so no hard feelings if you don't want to watch this because you haven't seen the movie, then fair enough, because I am going to talk about some things that are probably going to be some giveaways in this rant. So, first of all, Morgan is better than Ex Machina. Yes, I said better. All right, so let me say this, that Ex Machina was a good movie. It was an interesting movie. Some ideas going on in that movie that I thought were interesting, I thought was pretty compelling, but it is not the same movie as Morgan. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Ex Machina and just give you a little bit of a synopsis of that film because maybe you haven't seen it. Maybe you've just heard that people are making a comparison, but you haven't seen it. So, spoiler alert, it's an older movie, so it's probably fine. But if you haven't seen it, I'm going to give you the, the general synopsis of the film. Ava is an artificial intelligence, and a young programmer is brought in to assess how good her AI is, how good her artificial intelligence is. And the creator of Ava is admittedly very strange, a little bit nuts. Well, as the film tracks and as it goes on, we find out that at the end of the movie, actually, it wasn't the young programmer that was brought in to assess Ava's AI, but Ava was actually designed to interact with that young programmer, that specific programmer, to determine if she was able to manipulate him because of how advanced her AI is. And it turns out she actually is able to manipulate him such that she kind of orchestrates this whole thing where she is able to escape the compound where she is or the lab where she's been made and she ends up trapping the young programmer that comes in to assess her in that compound and she actually ends up killing her creator. Now you get the whole idea that somewhere along the way she becomes aware enough to know that she is in a bad situation and she kind of manipulates this whole situation to allow for her escape. And that is really the crux of Ex Machina. All right guys, so look. Ex Machina was interesting, and there were a lot of things to think about in this film, and I think a lot of the talk that came from this movie was what would actually happen if you had an AI that was so advanced that it could manipulate humans in such a fashion that it did in Ex Machina, and that is an interesting idea, but it is a different story than Morgan. All right, you guys, so let's talk about some of the differences with Morgan. So the first thing that you should notice if you've seen both movies, and remember, I'm moving into spoiler zone now, so if you don't want to hear this, turn it off because I'm going to talk a little bit about the film. So the main difference, the first difference you see with Morgan as it relates to Ava and the two differences between the two, both of them are artificial life forms, but the one big difference that for me at the outset makes Morgan a little bit more interesting is that Morgan starts out as human. She starts out as human and that's an important point. Now, her genetic makeup is influenced by the introduction of nanotechnology that allows her to do certain things Obviously, in the movie, it allows her to to age in terms of physical growth uh, a lot faster than most people would do. I think in the movie, in terms of technical years, she's five years old. But when you look at her, she's way past that uh, in terms of just her physical stature and in terms of her advancement with her ability to think and assess situations. But she starts out as human. And that's an important factor because Ava doesn't start out that way. She starts, her build is pure machine. So why is that important? Because Morgan is both. She is both programming and she is human. So there are both elements running through her. Now, does some of her nanotechnology influence her thinking patterns and all of that good stuff? Yes, but the film is good because it leaves you room to wonder 
what's going on with Morgan. Is it total manipulation or is it part of her human element that she struggles with as she interacts with her caregivers? And the film, it answers that question, but it doesn't answer that question. In my opinion, anyway, again, let me know what you think, but it gives you room to assess what's going on there. Is Morgan manipulating everybody completely through this film? Or is there real conflict in her relationship with her caregivers? That's what makes this movie a lot different and a lot more interesting to me than Ex Machina. So I liked Morgan because it is the struggle to me with her being both organic and inorganic. And you see the conflict between her in terms of the decision making. Now again, it depends on how you assess what's going on in this film. Another reason, as I said before, that makes this film so very interesting. Because I suppose you could look at it from two different points of view. You could look at it from a point of view of total manipulation in that Morgan is manipulating her caregivers all the way through. But I don't think that's what's going on in this movie. Based on what we see from earlier events and based on some of the things that we see right now. So now I'm actually trying to salvage, trying not to spoil too much of the film for you. Based on some of the things that we see go on through this movie, she's not just purely machine. There is a, 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 a human or an emotional element to her. And I'm thinking that that element creates a struggle throughout the different dynamics that she goes through in this film. She has a hard time navigating between the two. So later on in the film, we actually find that aggression is partly programmed into Morgan and that she is not just an experiment in artificial intelligence, which again, serves to make the film a little bit more interesting as she struggles with the dynamic of all that she is. All right, so honestly, listen, I thought that Morgan was a really good film. Unfortunately, I think it is going to live in the shadow of Ex Machina, and I think that that is unfortunate. But I am dying to know your thoughts about what I shared. Please make sure that if you like this, give it a thumbs up. And if you found it worthwhile, subscribe. Rant over.